Goddamn Bernard. Everyone loves him. Billionaires like Jeff Bezos made out like bandits. Bernie Sanders praises Amazon workers for unionizing. So Bernie Sanders and AOC were uh, at the Amazon labor union rally in New York. Uh, there's a currently, I believe there's still voting going on um, for the second um, warehouse or whatever uh, to vote uh, whether or not to join the Amazon labor union or not. I believe voting is going on now. Uh, as of this moment, but I want to read this article. On a day billed as Solidarity Sunday, Senator Bernie Sanders and Rep AOC visited Amazon workers in New York City less than 24 hours before they start casting ballots on whether to form a union. After which Sanders departed to Richmond, Virginia to talk with Starbucks workers who have been organizing coffee shops around the nation. I'm a little, got a little something going on here. Voting in Amazon's 1500 employee uh, LDJ5 facility. Located across the street from the JFK 8 warehouse that made history just three weeks ago by becoming the first of the e-commerce giant U uh, uh, giant's U.S. workplaces to unionize, is set to begin on April 25. That's today. If Jeff Bezos can afford a $500 million yacht, Sanders I said, referring to the e-commerce giant's billionaire founder in a video promoting Sunday's event, he can afford to pay his workers on Amazon decent wages, decent benefits, and provide good working conditions. They can, and they should. It's true. Speaking from a stage in Staten Island, Sanders told Amazon workers that they are sending a message to every worker in America that the time is now to stand up to our oligarchy, again, using the O word, which I entirely endorse, to stand up to the excessive corporate greed and to create an economy that works for all, not just for a few. A lot of people, uh, I know a lot of people that went to this rally, they're telling me that it's got Bernie 2020 vibes. And that's good. You know, we need to bring back that energy, except instead of doing it for political campaigns, we do it for union campaigns. That's it. That's the winning message. That's the strategy. Boom. Send. Press enter on that bitch, right? Send that fax, right? Let the, no let the machine start pumping out the numbers. Taking the mic from T.O. Bernie. Ocasio-Cortez, D. Nye, congratulated the organizing committee on the Amazon labor union on its groundbreaking victory earlier this month, saying that it would reminded the world that you don't need a millions of dollars to stand up to multi-billion dollar corporations. You just got to do the work. You need solidarity. You need to show people that you give a damn about them and that they will come together to organize and demand for better lives. ALU's successful union drive at JFK 8 was the first domino to fall, said Ocasio-Cortez, who called on Amazon to drop the dubious objections that it filed with the National Labor uh, Relations Board, NLRB, in a bid to overturn the results. Um, and so, uh, let's let's keep reading. Derek Palmer, ALU's vice president. I don't know what this big space is. I think it's my ad blocker. Uh, I'm glad that everyone is finally uh, waking up. This is the vice president. And realizing the power we have as an organization, as people, I think we have lost. Been uh, I think that's been lost throughout these years, and I'm glad that it's finally back. We've woken the country up, and I want us to continue on this journey," said Palmer. "I want us to win LDJ five. Amazon, which is notorious for mistreating its workers and spending 4.3 million dollars on anti-union consultants in 2020 alone, 2021 alone, has intensified its union busting tactics in the lead up to the election that starts Monday." But LDJ5 has been busting their ass, organizing day in and day out, said Palmer. We need to support them, and we also need to support all the Amazon facilities around the world who want to organize as well. ALU President Christian Smalls terminated by Amazon in March 2020 after he organized a walkout at JFK 8 to protest management's refusal to adequately protect workers during the early weeks of the COVID-19 pandemic, admitted he has a vendetta against the company that fired him. Good! Fuck them! That's revenge, but done right. Again, I just want to say I'm very impressed with Chris Smalls. From that moment forward, we never looked back, said Smalls. We said, we're going to go anywhere it's necessary to advocate for workers' rights. And after Amazon defeated the retail, wholesale, and department store union last year in Alabama election, the NLRB invalidated due to corporate interference. He and his comrades decided to bring it back home to New York. We beat them right here, said Smalls, pointing to at the JFK 8 warehouse. I'm so proud that our team expanded. The workers that are organizing expanded, and now we've gotten to a point where workers are now organizing themselves. Uh, you can read the rest of this. Um, but again, this is great. I love this photo of Bernie. That's just, you know, I don't I don't know what's going on there, but it's wonderful. Um, and uh, But again, like, this is really good stuff. This is exactly what we need. Unions, I support unions um, 100%. I support unionizing 100%. This, in my opinion, is the winning ticket. 
Um, you know, you just got to bring people to the left, organize more, bring people more to your side, you know, start with common causes. Like you're my coworker. We work in the same spot. Our livelihoods are linked. We should be working together. You work together with that person more. You bring them further to the left. You gain power. You gain electoral uh, leverage and strength that you can, you know, if the Amazon labor, um, Union for like, you know, if let's say they unionize, like let's say 40, 50 warehouses across the country, they become a national figure. Let's say they endorse a Bernie Sanders type person or anyone running in a 2024 race or anything, right? That could have more leverage. I mean, I'm just saying, right? This is how you build electoral power is you start with local power. You start with union power. And then once you grow that, which is a lot easier to grow than doing a campaign, mind you, right? Once you grow that, then you can leverage it electorally. So it's a win-win. Uh, this is a great, great thing. And, uh, you know, again, I believe the voting is currently going on. Uh, and I will try to follow the story as much as I can. Um, and it's just great. It's just great. I don't know. It's just good to see.